All right, guys, you guys were wondering what the uh, special video was going to be for a million. So I had a few different ideas and I thought this was Derek, the type of guy to hit a million subscribers, be on the Joe Rogan podcast and reveal it to his audience. Probably the best one. <laughs> and film the whole thing out of focus. And 67,000 people like the video, including myself, because he's a nice, intelligent, down-to-earth guy and he deserves a success. Well done to him. I especially like the bit where he compared the B-Day to a snipe of your buttocks. That is a t-shirt. What kind of stuff makes a human body look like that? This supplement. No, I'm being disingenuous. It's that well-known health concept of dehydration. Natty or Juice, my cab driver. I'm more distracted by the fact that your cab driver drives an Audi. In what city do they drive Audis as cabs? Is this Grand Theft Auto? What do we think about Chris Harrier? How long you got? This guy 2015 to 2021, Natty or Juice. Some of these threads are hilarious. Something like of the 2021 version 8 2015. I've just found the two greatest natural genetic muscle building specimens in the history of the human race. Possibly the biggest fake Natty on Instagram. Or that. He has Natty in his bio. His fans defend him in the comments. <coughs> I will just refer to Mark Bell's comedic translation of scenarios like that. And Paul... Paul must think we're head empties because this is plain stupid. This guy has taken the term fake natty to a new level of legendary. What's he going to try and lie to us about next? That Santa Claus isn't real? I've been a good boy this year, kind of. Please can I have some new glasses because these ones are all scratched up. What an absolutely massive dumbbell. Thank you. What is it about the fitness industry that attracts these liars and makes these influential ignoramuses treat us like simpletons? Natty or not, YouTube. Not, and here you go. And so these deceptive jokers are arrogantly presenting themselves as natural, selling supplements and courses and products and all that type of stuff implicitly related to their physique. <coughs> And this tactic is at the heart of everything wrong with the fitness industry. And indeed, these so-called naturally attainable physiques that are projected to the masses are just simply ridiculous. Love me a skin tearing pump. I want to be like you, master. You are my best superstar. All right, calm down. He ain't Yoda. Oh, sorry. I was being a dumb dumb. You just have to do his natural chest workout. I'll just leave that with you. And so before we move on to two of the most arrogant fitness stars currently staining the fitness industry, not even Silip Bank can clean that mess. This guy who I won't name because it's generic fitness industry practice, has 2.7 million followers on IG. He posts pictures like this, which is clearly the epitome of a balanced health and fitness lifestyle. Is enhanced, clearly. He sells training programs in all his IG posts, including for beginners, where he states they are for every level. And he never mentions that he's enhanced anywhere on his website or his social media, where he is selling apps and training courses, despite multiple people regularly asking him in the comments. Let's just call him Mr. Transparent. And then furthermore, and this is the stuff that really gets me, he's showing again his increase in weight here over many pictures in the same post with the hashtag trust the process. I just find that spitting in the face of being natural and trusting the process, or indeed if you are gonna be enhanced, being transparent. And so I use that phrase with fat burning supplements, for example, don't take these fat loss pills, just, you know, trust the process and focus on your caloric deficit and your training and all that. Or failing that, trust the process of trend with your cornflakes. Inspirational mate. Simple, practical and sustainable, no BS approach to training and diet, no fads, no magic formulas, except the literal multiple magic formulas that you cycle that allow for super physiological amounts of muscle to be built, where people have to think critically about the doses, critically about the combinations and the cycling and then post cycles therapy, for example, it is a very carefully calculated thing to be enhanced. It's not like you accidentally take a multivitamin. And being enhanced and not mentioning it anywhere as a disclaimer when you're selling these apps and training courses. Join 1,000 of others gaining insane results. Whilst implicitly using your physique as the marketing is what I call the Chris Hemsworth approach to straight cash money. And by the way, dear Marvel, stop spamming us with a million TV shows and films every year. I mean, have you diluted the franchise enough by now? The bloke who flies the plane will probably get his own TV show next. I mean, the lads do have good genetics and don't look as crazy in some pictures and videos as others. But come on, son, you literally could be Arnold's son. Young Arnold. Oak 2.0. Natural RNA genetics. I mean, even your profile picture looks like it needs post-cycle therapy. Road to IFBB Pro is not a natural road, is it, mate? Plenty of anabolic speed bumps along the way, roided roundabouts and all that. So let's look at some video clips from his social misleading TikTok page. I mean, you tell me, have I got this wrong? Is this guy natural as he claims? Is he selling supplements from rock or something based off a naturally attainable physique? I mean, his striations have striations. Veins over veins.
Maybe this is just naturally achievable from good old fashioned hard work and diet, chicken and broccoli and veins, or Mayo High Club. Cancelled after one season, I think. Overconfident bodybuilder, misleading fans selling products and making bang. And comedy, apparently. When she says her little sister is at home. Onomi Ega, I'm pretty certain I did not say that right. Gymshark athlete, obviously 730,000 followers and is pretty much the reincarnation of Arnold with that pose. And I'm not joking, he claims natural. On his YouTube page, he has endless videos claiming natural, literally in the title, including one which is ironically placed next to his Simeon Panda video, where he's the same size as Simeon. That is about as awkward as Rami Malek's Russian accent. Speak up, mate, can't hear you. Let's just say I'm on the fence about that James Bond offering. Your thoughts? And so I strongly dislike fake natty tactics. And all the people in this video, they sell products, supplements, training courses, all that type of stuff based off the marketing of their physiques. And from his website, that you can click on today for hilarity, the arrogance knows no end. On Nomi's core following of serious natural athletes and bodybuilders. I mean, do I even need to say anything or just show you pictures from your website? And Omega and Jim Shark. Get someone who looks at you the way I look at my arms. I mean, this is completely ridiculous. re the weights. What is the thinking whoever's done that? Here's the walkway. We'll drop these right here. Oh, and just for a bit of symmetry, let's dump those over there. Talking of massive dumps, YouTube have disabled the dislike button on all my videos. This was nothing to do with me. I had no say in it. I don't agree with it. And for those of you interested, I can show you in my dashboard. Here is the likes to dislikes of the last video. This is a policy they seem to have rolled out all across YouTube. I hope it changes. People should be able to like and dislike and people should be able to see that publicly. You get way more people talking and arguing then you get people respecting you for your honesty. The people who believe he's natty deserve the stupid supplements they get tricked into buying anyway. And so I'm not sure I completely agree with that comment. I mean, I call it the beginner trap. Beginners who will buy the supplements from these guys thinking they can look like that are just trying to better themselves really. And these fitness celebrities are the most pushed on social media. They hit the algorithms, they're shoved in people's faces. And that's why a lot of beginners will see these people. And so I do have slightly more sympathy for beginners who fall for the tricks and traps. And of course, the reason I make these videos is because they are fun, but also because some people who may be unsure about these issues may get some more clarity. No secrets, just hard work and consistency.